Good morning, this is the Dip 66 daily update for August 31st. Today is a Wednesday and Wednesday is a playtest night. So today my, my time will be spent getting ready for that playtest. Most of my attention will be on shootouts which we're still redeveloping after sort of ditching the old version 1 and embarking on a version 2. Most of that's going to focus on um, some new cards, the new train cards we have and the implications they have. This is a very simple train card uh, divided up into three separate locations, um, each with a sort of uh, movement value and some keywords. How they work is, if I just point the camera down, is the build up playing area as you uh, as the game goes al along, um, this makes the game uh, more conceptual rather than the sort of very sort of tactical war gamey uh, approach um, we used before. Last week, the major change was we introduced the concept that buildings um, block um, line of sight, so that um, when you fire, you could fire say from from the corral into the undertakers um, and when you could fire from the undertakers into the corral but you can't fire from the corral into, through the undertakers into the street they block so you can fire into a building, out of a building but not through a building this worked really quite well opened up the game a lot more produced areas of cover which was missing before um, but one um, problem we had with the card last week was there was too many buildings um, so there's too much blockage. This week what we're doing is I've come up with slightly new uh, versions and there's a lot more open space um, on these maps so there's a lot more line of sight. Um, I'm also going to spend some time producing more cards with a bit more green on them, some more sort of open terrain cards as well. So that's going to be my day mostly um, for the next few hours. So um, until tomorrow, have a good day.